How do I properly clean records for sale on FBA? <laughs> I have about 20 records here and I just listened to all of them. Only one that was having issues was skipping and it's not a shock considering what the record looks like. If you can see that. See those marks? I'm presuming that's what the issue was. I don't know if they'll come out. I haven't tried yet. That's why I put on here, skips, clean it. So I looked on YouTube for tutorials or videos about how to clean, and I found a few. So I got some ideas and I tried one way in particular, and it seemed to work, but it took a little bit of time and potential for the label getting wet. So I wanna pose four questions about how to properly clean albums for sale on Amazon. Number one. Number one, how do I clean vinyl records effectively? Simple enough, right? Should I use a microfiber cloth? Just wipe it off, play them, see if they work, put them back in the sleeve, send them off to FBA. Should I, as I learned in one video, put dishwashing soap on the actual record, then run it underneath warm water and use your fingers after, of course, you've washed your hands very well, use your finger to rub the soap and water into the vinyl and basically just rub it in and, and, and wash it out, wash the soap out. And then afterwards, just let it air dry. That was one particular way. And there were a lot of people commenting saying that it worked for them and they were surprised and that it played better and that sort of thing. So that's a great way to clean it because you don't need anything special, but it takes a little bit of time and you just have to be a little bit careful with the label and make sure you don't get the label wet, especially if it's one that can get damaged or stained if it gets wet. But that takes a little bit of time and then drying takes about 10 minutes or so. That's a bit of a, a bit of a long time, especially if I, not if, but especially when I start buying bulk buys of records and if I get a couple hundred and I'm, process, or I'm processing a hundred records or whatever it is, that would take a long time. I understand for your personal collection and you don't necessarily need to hurry up the process but I wanna know how to do it effectively. What's a good way to clean off the record? Number two, how do I clean a record fast? So I wanna do it effectively, but I also wanna do it relatively quickly. If it takes uh, 30 seconds to a minute to clean it, that's not too bad, but 10 minutes, 20 minutes for, per record is a bit much. I've heard taking compressed air, blowing the dust and lint and whatever off of it, using possibly a cotton shirt, or cotton towel or microfiber uh, cloth and wiping it off that way, that sort of thing. But do any of those work? Is it effective enough? Uh, well, at the same time, quick, because I don't want to take too much time if I, when I start processing a lot of these albums. I want to be able to do it relatively quickly and uh, get to the albums and, and get them in a box and ship them out. But at the same time, I don't want the buyer to get a record that is in that is not as clean as I could have done it in, in a quicker, in a more effective, but yet quicker manner. So that's the second question. Number three, how much does the cleanliness of the record have to do with how much it pops or cracks while playing? I noticed while testing the 20 or so records that I have that probably about half of them, maybe a little bit more than half of them, had some popping sounds or crackles as I was playing it. Now it varied as to how loud it was and how consistent, most of them, it, you could hear it, but it wasn't really loud. It wasn't like pop, pop, pop. It was just more like a little bit of like a fuzzy sound. So I, more of like minor pops and, and crackles. So I'm wondering how much that has to do with the cleanliness of it or if it's some other issue. A little bit that I've read says that if there's lint or dust and if it gets on the needle, then that can affect it. Or if it's in the grooves, then that can affect the, the sound of it. So please let me know if you have experience with this, how how much the cleanliness affects the way that the record sounds. Of course, a scratch is gonna affect it or some sort of surface damage, but dirt or, or, or hair, is that gonna affect the way that it sounds in terms of the cracks, crackles and the pops? Please let me know. 
because then clearly you need to be able to wash it or clean it in an effective way. Number four, how important is it to an Amazon buyer that the record be clean? Basically, how clean does it have to be before I send it into FBA? Clearly, I understand I don't want to send a, an album in that is completely filled with dust or lint or hair or whatever it may be. I want to clean it as best as possible, but also how super clean does it have to be? This is why I put FBA in the title of this video because I'm curious about people that sell records, a little bit or a lot of records on the FBA, how important it is that, that the record is really, really clean. Do I need to wash it with the dishwashing soap in the water? Do I need to do that with every record or something like that? Or is just rubbing it down with a, a cloth, compressed air, that sort of thing, sufficient? So that's another important part for me. Please let me know if you have experience with that. Uh, if you found that people say, oh, I got the record, it was, it was too dirty, I didn't even bother playing it, or I played it, it was too dirty, as if they couldn't just blow off the dust or whatever themselves, but nonetheless, what are the parameters? So those are my four questions about cleaning vinyl. If you are selling on FBA, of course, if you're selling on eBay only uh, or mostly, I guess the s same thing could apply, but definitely be helpful if you're on FBA. You could do Merchant Fulfilled, but if you're selling on Amazon and you have experience with cleaning records, please let me know what works for you. Is it fast? Is it thorough? Do the people, uh, d does it affect how the record sounds, which I'm sure it does, but how important is that for the the fuzzy cracking, crackling sounds? And is it super important to the buyer that it be really, really clean or just or clean enough so that it doesn't affect the play? I really appreciate any input and I'm really excited about getting into vinyl, but I'm just trying to find out all of these little, these little detail where I start. So I'll probably make other videos about condition and packaging. But for now, as always, remember, keep booking.